Okay, guys. Hi. Hi, everyone, today. Um, I'm so mad at myself because, um, I have been without a relaxer since December 2017, and it is now October 2018, so December January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Ten months without Relaxa. Yes, and I'm so proud of myself. And um how 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 I have been um keeping up <clears throat> with this journey, you know what I'm saying? I've I've been natural. Well I guess I don't really so I'm still understanding all of this um this natural stuff and post relax or pre relax I really don't know the terms I'm still getting to learn and understand the terms or whatever be because I haven't really um cut off because I still have some relaxer um ends because I have I haven't done the big chop but um I have done the, I haven't done the big chop but I just haven't had a relaxer in 10 months so, how I've been going about that, um, for the past 10 months, i just been doing quick weaves and protective styles and, you know, getting them done by my stylist, which is a trained and licensed cosmetologist. Love you, Danielle Jenkins. I love you. And I've been going to her forever. So, you know, I go to her every two weeks or whatever and get, you know, a basic quick weave maybe like a um just some cute or whatever that last some get up and go or whatever but i would go every two weeks and she would you know after you know taking my quick weave down and wash and you know do everything or whatever but now i haven't had a um relaxer in 10 months and i'm so proud of myself but um what is this october 20 what time is it I don't even know what time it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's still October 28th, which is today. It's my grandmother's birthday. Happy 81st birthday, my granny. Um, But anyway, um, yeah, I like what I was about to say. Oh, so I think, um, um, so it's October 28th. I think the 1st of October is the first time that I really just really, really, really saw my natural hair at its natural state. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would go to the beauty shop and, and the salon and, you know what I'm saying, she would wash the uh, quick weave out and this and that and this and that. I'll bring what type of hair I want to, more than her to put in my hair but you know what I'm saying in between washes I would never look in the mirror to see my natural state I might have did it maybe a couple of times but I just never just really looked at it but she would always tell me she was like Shay your hair is super long super long I remember one time cause me and my sister get our hair done at the same um beauty shop well we get our hair done by the same stylist and Anyways, um, I know one time we didn't even know that we was getting our hair done at this on the same day, and it was just random. We was just having a random conversation, and my sister was like, she was like shakes. My sister, her her hair grows like, oh my god, like wildfire weed. Like my sister hair grows like super fast, and you know what I'm saying instead of mine. And my sister, she wears um. A, um, a short, what do you call it? Dang, everybody's wearing those. I mean, they're back in the day, like, like a, um, tapered. Yeah, my sister wears a tapered cut, and it's so pretty. Um, but she just loves short hairstyles, and, you know, so I used to back in the 90s, but, you know, I just, I really didn't really know how to, do that kind of stuff but now i know if i wanted to i could but i don't know i don't know so anyway back to 
what I was saying. Anyways, so we were just having this random conversation about hair and she was like and then also my sister she does wear her protective style is we have her her most favorite protective that protective style are wearing braids so yeah my sister wear braids a lot and they're they be so pretty like she have I'm, I'm from little rock arkansas we're from little rock arkansas so we have like we say the africans and i don't want to be you know I don't want to sound so messed up, but that's what we, yeah, the Africans. I know they're not Africans, but, because hell, I'm African American, but that's what we say, and not trying to be funny, but I guess they're from African Native, I don't know, I ain't finna get off into that, but anyway, she goes to their shops or whatever, and they the bomb, they the motherfucking, they're the bomb. Yep, they the motherfucking bomb. Like, seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like, two two people be on your head. Like, they're kind of expensive, but you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Like, if you just want just something simple, that might be $100, 100 150 Like, I mean, for real. Come on now, Facebook. But anyways, um... Anyway, yeah. The Africans... They're, they're good. But anyway, like I said, the random conversation, and she was like, she was like, girl, she was like, Shay, girl, I took my braids down. Well, my daughter took her braids down, and which is her niece. And so she was like, girl, she said, I didn't know how much my hair had grown or whatever. I was like, wow. And then my beautician was like, she was like, Kim, Shay hair has grown a lot too. So... She was like, for real? I was like, and she was like, yeah, that's what my beautician was telling my sister. And this was like maybe in, maybe the 1st of August. But you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, I, had, I hadn't seen my, um, my, not my natural hair without, you know what I'm saying? Like, without the, um, quick weave or just being silked out or pressed or anything. All I've seen, all I, I, all I have seen it is when when she's like, I might glance in the mirror after she's washed it and conditioned and rinsed it and gave me a dip conditioner, which is poofy. It's like a big poofy afro. So, like, that's really not telling me nothing. But um, one day I just decided that. Um, I was like, well, you know what? I'm not. I just want to see how my hair, you know what I'm saying, will look pressed out or silked out. And we had talked about this for that whole month of um August. And also maybe the 1st of September. And so I was like, I got the nerve. I grew some balls. So I was like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I went to her. And I had the hair that I wanted her to do me a quick weave. I was like, no. I was like, no. Mm -mm. She was like, you going to do it? I was like, yeah. But mind you, the day before I went, I was like, I, you know, I started taking out the quick weave myself. And so, which I shouldn't have done. And I wouldn't advise anyone to do this either. I started taking that quick the quick weave out myself and everything was going fine and as I was washing it, you know what I'm saying, oh my god, my hair was matted something bad. I'm talking about matted something bad. And like a lot of my hair came out, which I kind of kept a lot of it. If if it wasn't matted as bad, I think my hair would have... Ooh, excuse my computer. But if it wasn't matted that bad, I think my hair would have been longer. But I ain't tripping on it. But the only thing... The the most part of my hair was matted was my, uh, my left side of my hair. Yeah. This left side was matted so bad. Like, oh my God. I shouldn't have did that. And when I went to my beautician, then I was like, Shay, why did you do that to yourself? You know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, um, so yeah, I went and 
I think I forget what date it was. I forget what day it was. I'm thinking it was the end of September, the first of October. I think it was the first of October. But anyway, yep. But I mean, I'm not finna wrap my hair. I just thought I would do this video because. I thought about it. I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? I washed, conditioned my hair today. Well, maybe like three hours ago, which I try to do it every two weeks. And I'm not going to just keep this silk press all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep, I'm going to continue to still wear protective styles or whatever because I don't want to burn my hair out with the flat irons or whatever. Nope. I don't want to just keep continuously using um heat on my hair whatever and no I'm not gonna do that I just like the length of my hair and then you know what I'm saying 2004 2005 my hair was really really long and I don't know I messed around and start I started no yep 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 I watched a, a YouTube video that's when YouTube started really just coming out and banging and banging and whatever and and I just ventured no not venture but I got a liking into this this YouTuber named Atia and I started using the Afogee products and really I didn't know too much about hair and how to use those products or whatever and like my hair was like really long or then the length that it that it is now and messed around and did a um that protein treatment why did I did it the wrong way and lord have mercy my hair was gone like that blink of an eye like I said like I just my hair was gone within a blink of an eye and I was like wow so you know you know you you learn you listen and you learn and you know what I'm saying you would have that term goes or whatever but um yeah and I've been praying for this day I'm not gonna say pray but I just been wishing for this day I've been doing um challenges caster or challenges and oh my god I've been doing so much stuff to get my hair this length but hmm, I'm talking about over the years I've been doing a lot of stuff to get my hair back to this length and never knew that uh and I've always heard of protective styles you know what I'm saying so you know what I'm saying I've heard of protective styles while getting relaxes but getting relaxed I'm not I'll do relaxes every two weeks but I didn't and I did everything I did the moisture and silk moisture and seal things and I never I didn't see nothing I ain't see nothing but now I know what my hair likes. My hair does not like, excuse me, my hair doesn't like relaxers. Just simple as that. And I see that I get a lot of length. Um, and I, oh my God, it's so, oh my God. Like, like I told y'all, um, <laughs> It is so amazing. Oh my God. Like, I don't know the textures of hairs. Like, I'm still learning that. Like, 4C, 4B, and all. I, like, the textures of the natural hairs. I really don't know what texture mine is. But, I'm going to tell y'all what is so amazing. I'll be about to cry. Like, and it's such a miracle. And I just love black, black hair. I love black hair. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. When my hair is wet, like when um I just seen a difference like two weeks ago. Just I just had to learn about my natural texture. But um like I washed it with some deep moisture. I don't even have the shampoo right here. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I just be so hyped, bro, for real. So um, the next time I do this, I'm going to put this on camera because I'd be so fascinated. Like, I'm like, I'd be like a child at Christmas time. But, um, I still, uh, 
I washed it with cream of nature. Mm, where are my glasses? <clears throat> okay. I washed it with cream of nature. I love this. I I used this when I was relaxed. And I'm going to still keep on using it because I love this. And, well, cream of nature, ultra moisturizing shampoo. And... I relax. I mean, I did deep condition with the cream of nature, mango, shea butter, and ultra moisturizing conditioner. So anyway, like I was saying, like hair, black hair is so amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I did that, and I did my um, black rinse also. So I put the the deep condition, the moisturizing conditioner on there, you know what I'm saying, as well. And I set up under my dryer for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But when I went in, when I when I got away from up under the hair dryer, I just saw just like, like the little coils of my hair. Man, it's just so pretty, pretty. Oh, my God. I'm just going to let y'all, next time I do this. Next time I do this, I'm going to record this because it's amazing to me. Like how, like how, when you've been relaxed so long and then you just see your natural hair and what your natural hair state is. You know what I'm saying? This shit is a fucking amazing, freaking amazing to me. And so, yeah, this is me. Um, I took, I was, I was wrapped earlier and I took it off. Because uh, I wanted to wrap it even tighter. Yeah, even tighter. Because I had, I wrapped it. Lord, why do I take all this stuff? I don't know. Okay. Um, I wrapped it with my paddle brush that I've had. I haven't had this paddle brush for, and it's a lot of hair in it. I need to clean it. So forgive me, y'all. Oh, um, I've had this paddle brush forever. I got this paddle brush from Sally's. I think I had this paddle brush since like 2011, something like that. Yeah, this paddle brush been with me, baby. And so after I got through with that, um, I just wanted to hold on, cause I have. Hold on. Hold on, guys. There I go. Yeah. I want to do this, you know, kind of make it a little tighter. Yeah. Make it a little tighter because I saw. Like. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that top. But I don't care. I'm going to just press that down. Press that down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do that. Just make it a little tighter. And then before I uh before I did that, um before I even really, really, really wrap, wrapped it, I just put a ooh. I put just a little bit of small amount of this African Pride Olive Miracle. Moisturizing, lo moisturizing lotion, just a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't like my hair way down at all, and it does wonders. <clears throat> and you know, now, um, but like I said, guys, I'm finna wrap my hair. But like I said, guys, um, I'm so happy. And thanks to my beautician Danielle Jenkins. Yeah, thank you for doing my hair. I never really, I really never really wasn't in, in going natural really wasn't my intentions. I just liked the um the quick weaves that I was getting. I love those. You know what I'm saying? They were like quick, easy. You know what I'm saying? I get up in the morning, go to work. I ain't had to do nothing. But you know, I, sometimes I ain't even put a bonnet on my hair. I ain't have to sleep pretty. Or nothing. Um, I wish YouTube was. I wish I could. I don't know. I might can post some pictures of the quick weaves that I wore, whatever. And if you guys, you know, you can look at my profile picture. That is the picture 
that's the hairstyle that I wore. That's all, you know what I'm saying? And I started wearing this in May of last year. May 27, May 2017. Yeah, May 2017 of last year. Uh, the month that my mother passed away. And I think I'm going to do a video about that. Because I done been through some stuff. Oh, Shay. D35 Shay 90 has been through some things, things, things. I know I haven't seen you guys in a long time. But I got some things to talk to you guys about. And I know my channel ain't popping like they like it needs to be popping. I know I'm boring or whatever. But I'm kind of shy. And... Hell, you can't be shy if you want to have a YouTube channel. Hmm. Nope. But anyways, back to, um, I'm going back to all that. Because I got a lot of stuff to, ooh, I got so much stuff to talk to you guys about. But anyways, um, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to put this, my bandana is not silk or satin. Hell, I don't know what material this is. Hell, I've been having this bandana for since about 2019. I smells good. I wash it or whatever. And I haven't worn this since I got my silk out. So, I know this thing misses me. So, honey, yeah. I'm finna put my bandana on and... I got this technique from, dang, who did I get this technique from? But when I when I remember, I'm going to let y'all know. So I put my bandana or my silk scarf or I don't know what, it's, it's a soft scarf that protects your hair. Anyways, I put it on this way. And I, I think I have another video that shows you all this, but hell, I can't remember. And, um, tied in the front. I try to push all these humps and stuff down. And yeah, I have a mirror in front of me also. And also, I'm doing this off my Galaxy S9, so yeah. The video quality might not be that great. So anyway, I tie that like that. And so I grab it from the front and I twist. You twist in the way that you wrap your hair. So I wrap my hair that way and I twist my bandana that way. And so uh, I tie it a little bit more tighter and I grab it in the back to make it a little bit more snug. So, yep, and so, um, I just make me a, a knot in the back to make it more secure. Then I just tuck these, tuck the rest of them in there to get them out of the way. And then, I noticed that. I forget and I noticed that uh no I sleep on my back. So I sleep on my back and I kind of forget that that sometimes I wake up in the morning and when I wake up in the morning this is not on my head. So I went to the my local beauty supply store and I purchased oh my glasses, Lord. Oh there they go. I purchased this. I was like, well, yeah. And I, I saw this from um, You Love Max. I watch her channel all the time. I watch You Love Max. She's been my favorite. You Love Max. Oh, my God. I've been her friend. I mean, I've been following her. I've been subscribed to her since. Oh, my God. Since she was a little girl, basically. She was kind of grown, but I don't think she was that grown. Her and her sister used to do videos together. But anyways... Um, I think she did it where she would put this cap on first and then do that. I'm not for sure, but anyway, I po I purchased this. Um, it's a real fit spandex cap. 
and I purchased this the other day. So I was like, well, you know what? Maybe if I buy one of those, maybe my my scarf will stay on my head better. So, yeah. And I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Just do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. But, yep, anyway, y'all, this is me, d 35 Shay 90 and I'm back. I'm back. I've been gone a long time. Been a lot going on in my life since 2017, May 2017. You know what I'm saying? God's been good. Oh, my God. God's been wonderful. But, um, yep, yeah, um... I just want to come talk to you guys, and, and like I said on my last video, I just want to come and just be a part of the YouTube family, you know what I'm saying? I made a channel just because I was having fun, and really, I started watching my girl, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, what is her name? I'm looking right at her, Keisha. Keisha, what is your YouTube name? Keisha Smith, what is your name? Oh my God, she gonna kick my ass. Cause I can't remember her name. <laughs> oh my God. She was the funniest. Her, her sister. Oh my God, I started watching her sister first. And then I started watching her. She was the funniest. And then she inspired me to make a damn YouTube channel. Ain't this fucking crazy? She gonna kick my ass. Oh my god. Don't kick my ass, Keisha. Please don't kiss my don't kick my ass. Don't talk shit. Don't make a video. Don't make a video about me because I forgot your name, babe. I just like the Joe goddamn um I just like the your, your picture on Facebook. Y'all was beautiful. Tia Mott girl. Your baby girl. Oh my God, Tia Mother got so goddamn grown. Oh my God, she is beautiful. Oh my God. Dang, what's your damn YouTube channel name? Hold on. Hold on. This is what I'm finna do. See, I'm on my phone, on my computer right here. Sick type of shit I be doing. Look, 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 shit, you can't see, hold on, god damn it, I'm gonna watch this, that's my grandbaby, y'all, India, that's my grandbaby, y'all, <laughs> that's when she was a bitty, bitty, thudda, thudda, my tugga, tugga, wugga, she's nine years old now, I'm gonna, um, uh, yeah, what is your freaking name, girl? I'm mad. I done got mad at myself. Because you my nigga, you know what I'm saying? God damn. I ain't supposed to forget your name. I ain't supposed to forget your name. Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed at the same time, too. Damn it. Oh, my God. Keisha. Mm, I'm mad. No, no, that's not you. No. Oh, oh. Ow! My goddamn motherfucking nigga, goddamn high maintenance. High motherfucking minutes. How did I forget you, baby? How, how, how did I forget you? I feel so bad. I feel so bad. You my inspiration to making a fucking channel, bro. You my cousin sister. Lord, how much? I'm finna go, cause I feel so bad. I don't know she gonna cuss me out. Hey, 
Close to me up, baby. I can take. I can take. Love you all. And I will be back with more, more videos. This, I know this damn video seems like so. 1990. No music, no nothing, no nothing. But baby, watch, watch. I'm going to get this shit on the pop. And I wish my cousin Jamal was out of jail. <laughs> sounds so ghetto. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Shit, he locked up. But he know how to do all this shit. He would make my goddamn shit look fire. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. Peace out.